Hello everyone, welcome to a new game. Today we're going to be doing Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction. Alright, we'll be playing Jacob here. Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. Okay, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for Exox, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire, the Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force us into a, I don't know, a moral position? I mean, the guy's evil. He capped his own father after the coup. The media are all over it. Anyone operating in this theater is going to be famous. Maybe, but we're proposing sending in a single operative, low profile, and remember, North Korea is in total chaos. There's press on the ground, sure, but our agent could level half the country and no one would have any idea we were there. Mm -hmm. There's more. Apart from the hundred million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member of the deck of 52, especially if they're taken alive. Uh, does that say businessmen? Well, counterfeiting, slave trading, if you call that business, these guys are businessmen. To sum up, we insert a single agent to go after the bounties. We can do something the Allies can't. Work directly with factions on the ground to gather hard intel on the deck of 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AN have never been shy about... Dealing with the Russian Mafia? Not with GSRN reporters everywhere. Listen, by working with the factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it, got it. Fiona, you make a compelling case. I think I know which way the board will go, but I have one more question. We're basically relying on a single agent here. Do you have someone in mind? Yes, I do. I believe I have the perfect candidate. Hello everyone, and I'm back, and we'll be playing as Christopher Jacob here, as our character. At this point on, I go into my main file here. We not a new game here, but basically I, I beat the game here, a new game plus here. All the money, all of the unlock from the start here. Uh, someone's passed out. Hey Chris, do you read me? Wake up! Just resting my eyes. What's our ETA? You're about ten minutes from the DMZ drop zone. Damn, they were gonna bump me up to first class. Listen, we're close. You might want to get your gear together for the drop. Alright, then we'll press right to stand up here. Basically, we need to collect our gear. A PDA, a grenade, and our, and our rifle. Checked out your new PDA yet? A little bit. Seems nicer than the one we had in Libya. Hope it's more durable. We know you'll treat this machine a lot better. I'll do my best. I heard that. If you can stop abusing it for a minute, I want to test our uplink. I've tapped into every satellite feed I can get my hands on. That means when I send you a blip on your PDA, you check it out. This thing play MP3s? Of course. Really? No. Alright, well, we got the PDA, and let's go grab the assault rifle now. Well, first and first, the grenades. <laughs> M67. Standard issue frag grenades. Should get me started. Mm, we got grenades, we got five grenades, and we also got sun grenades to capture people here, or to stun them. Now, here's supposed to be the car bomb. Here is a prototype rifle. Never let me down before. Basically, it's a jury tr it's a G36, a prototype yeah, rifle. Alright. All right, you get the door. Yeah. You know they say the DMZ is the most dangerous place on Earth. You worried about me, Fiona? <sighs> I'm worried about our payday. Hundred million dollars. You think you can spend that much money in one lifetime? Trust me, I'll die trying. All right then. So we'll be doing a hot out. We'll be bid. The plane's gonna continue. We're gonna drive off the back of it. Alright. 
enter the well enter the Allied vehicle, the standard scout vehicle. Um, standard Allied vehicle, A and Allied nations vehicle, 50 caliber, six five. Well, four passengers. Well, four passengers, three passengers, and a gunner. Anyway, let's reverse. All right, then. Let's see. After the custom plate. And welcome to Korea. Now we control the carrot. Now we control. Your primary objective is to get to the Allied HQ. Colonel Garrett is waiting for you. All right. Well, we need to. to the Allied HQ. Hmm. Garrett is expecting Grace. They will block the road. Let's drive through. Here, anyway. wait. Anyway, drive through here to the Allied headquarters to see the colonel, the, the, the guy in charge of the Allied operation nearby. And again, attack. I'm surprised that. I'm surprised having security I mean, let. Anyway, the North Korean have a whole bunch of artillery guns far nearby. So the plan is to go there and destroy. And we got our very first message from the Allied nations here from AN, from Colonel Garrett. Take out the, take out the artillery pieces. Kept the guy in charge of the, those are those guns. Bring him alive. And that'll be our first mission for the Allies. I just want you to explain to me why we're still getting the crap chilled out of us. And I don't want to hear the words authorization, approval, clear for engines. Now who the hell is this? Sir, this is a private contractor. Exops contacted me and I agree. A merc! You don't think I got enough problems? Get out of here! I don't You catch the two of clubs yet? The two of No. How did you know that Jin Ho Young was commanding that artillery? Exops does a good job briefing their agents, sir. You said you didn't want to hear authorization or approval. Well... All right, we'll give it a shot. You stop that artillery, verify the two of clubs, and maybe we can do business together. Major Howard here will give you some intel. Oh, and one last thing. Don't you ever interrupt me again. All right, then, well, we got the briefing there. Go talk to Major Howard to, to accept the mission. Anyway, into the vehicle. The Press B. Alright. Press B for the horn. They get all allies soldiers. Any one of your allies nearby to hop in the vehicle for a ride. And of course, now that's the map. Okay, the contract. Now, basically, you no, know, the deck of 52 works like this. Ace cards are you no know, the leader of those decks here. That you no, know, of course. Can, King, Jack, Kings, Queens, and Jacks are top leaders, and of course here the face cards are basically the, the lieutenants you have to worry about here. Those are open bounties. Yeah. The king, well, from the kings to the uh, from the kings, queens, and jacks here, you get that for contract from the other factions. The aces, only the only allies got can give you clearance for those missions. You bring enough intel, he gets you clearance to bring them in to pretty much take them out. Anyway, now our first little, our first face card here from the deck of 52 is up on this hill. Right, past the roadblock. Hmm. See my email. See, press select here. You go in the menu, and anyway, there's our, our friend there. Let's go say hi. I didn't someone just throw a grenade at themselves. Anyway, I trigger the fire, and of course I mentioned that the prototype rifle has over one. You get this very late in the game itself here. If you beat the game first hand here, you basically get, you, know, you know you get to keep all the guns you have. Anyway, press X, to, press X to attack, Y to take down. After that, well, he's been. Ta anyway, after that, when you, when you capture someone, call for an attraction team here, and it will be and the guy will be captured. Anyway, press press down for the support team. Yeah. Anyway, let's go pick up our new friend here and drop him off into the bird. And after that, we verify the verify the SVT. You can either do that, you can either capture someone or you can either kill them. You get half the bound here, but you have to do you verify the picture that there. Yep, it's them. They're dead. Oh, before you capture someone, make sure you clear any of the locations from any AA guns. If the bird goes down, you have to wait for another one to show up. Anyway. Yep. 
All right, Microsoft's going to verify access and target database verifications and twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, I've been playing this game beforehand. Anyway, those are the two guns. And then suddenly you get also the support bar. You can also buy support. Let's say, for instance, sometimes some mission will provide you with air support. Either way, first of all, I just select the laser. To, after that, select the laser detonator. Paint the target. Keep it painted there. All right, firing a hole. All right. Oh, location's being well. The entire location being cleared. On the crates you see are pretty much supply crates. You can find extra ammo or guns here for a lot of things. That's the transport. And of course you go to zoom. And of course with any other weapon you can also scan it for a scan. Ally soldiers. M1025 scout. Of course if you if you drive North Korean vehicles you're in disguise here. So they won't suit you. North Korean won't suit civilians with their own side. But they will suit everyone else. You prevent that war with all the other factions. Anyway, let's deal with this one last North Korean sword I left behind. And let's head back to HQ to essentially talk and talk to Colonel Garrett and get the lay of the land. Well, that's one faction down we, we just met. We'll be meeting the other three faction well, in, that are play <laughs> that are in play right now. Wow, what a mess. They really needed your help. I don't know if they actually pass up the the fill up the, uh, the the artillery strikes hold very quickly, though. They work pretty. F they work pretty fast. Don't worry, the vehicle will be parked nearby. Anyway, let's go inside the alley HQ and talk to the man himself. Doing so completes the mission. Not bad. Maybe I was wrong about it. And I sure as hell don't mind the opportunity to get something done around here without wading through a sea of red tape. I may rely on you in the future. How's that sound? As long as the pay's good, I'm perfectly willing. Okay. I'm Colonel Samuel Garrett, commander of Allied forces in the area. This is Major Stephen Holland. I know you're here for the deck of 52. Now, most of them are open bounties, but the aces? You need special clearance from us to go after them. You bring me enough intel, I'll get you that clearance. Speaking of which, you'll want to talk to the man leading... I'm sorry, advising South Korean forces in the area. Company man called Buford. He knows more about what's going on around here than most of us tell. He knows more than he's telling, that's all I'm saying. He probably already knows where Song is, this bastard. Now get out of here. I got work to do. Come on. Alright then, well, let's exit the vehicle. And then after that, I'm going to end the part and the next part. And part two, we'll be going to see the South Korean advisor, well, Buford, who's advising the South Koreans. See you next part, folks. Bye.